Hello! I came across your animation tutorial on YouTube and I'm learning some new animations that work for an app refresh. I've been trying to get a specific behavior on React Native for a while now. We need a toast message, component fades in, is stackable, and it's time to fade out. We'd love to see a tutorial on it. Love the videos, Andy. Alright, Andy, let's do this. In this video, we're going to build a great toast, alert, notification, you name it, system in React Native. The inspiration comes from a component originally created for the end design library. And as you can see, the way it works is that it continually adds messages at the top of the screen. They all stack up on top of each other. And after a few seconds, each one fades away. So this is actually a very common component, especially in an application. And you'll see it's surprisingly quite simple to build with animated. So first, let me tell you how it's going to work. We have an empty box at the top of the screen, which should display any message in it. To do so, we'll keep a list of messages in our component that will be our state, and whenever a message is added to that list, it will automatically add it to this box. A quick note here, for the sake of the example, the messages will be plain strings, so our state is just a list of strings. Now for the message itself, if you remember it correctly, each one fades in first, then stays there for a few seconds before fading out. All we need to do at this point is whenever a message fades away, we should remove the message from the list stored in our state. I will start with the message component, which should only display some text coming from its props. Now, since we want to fade in and out this component, let's add some animations to it. We'll play with the view opacity for the fadings, and I'll start by turning this view into an animated one. Because we already know we'll animate the opacity, we need an animated value which should then be animated from 0 to 1, and then from 1 to 0 when the message fades out. By default, because it should fade in, the opacity will be 0. Alright, everything is in place for us to start the fadings. We'll use a sequence of two animations, starting with a fade in and then fading out after a two seconds delay, since the message needs to stay up a little bit before going away. Great, now just to make sure it works, we'll show a simple message using this new component. Only one thing we're missing with the animation is the vertical translation we had on the message component in the UI library. If you look closely, you can see it actually moves, it doesn't just fade in. We can very easily add this by interpolating the opacity, since when it's zero, the translation should be below zero, so that it drops from the top, and it will then go backwards when animating opacity from one to zero. This message actually should stay at the top of the screen, so let's wrap a view around it that will later contain all our messages. As I mentioned earlier, we need a list of messages and in our case, this will be our default component state. So let's create this. And because we shouldn't render a default message, but our state messages, let's map over them. So now whenever we add a message to the list, it should appear on top of the screen, stacked on top of the others. I'll just create a button for this to play with it. And this works well, but there's clearly something off, which is that the messages are fading out, but we're not clearing them away from the component state, so they stay on the screen. What we need is to remove a message from the state after it fades out. If we look at the message fading animations, we could add a callback function that runs after the animation is done. Actually, with animated, the start function can take a callback that does exactly this, so let's use it. 
This unhide property doesn't exist yet, but what I should do in our case is removing this message from the state list of messages. If we head back to our default component, we can add this property that filters out the state. And it works. All right, before I ask you what you want us to create in the next episode, let me recap briefly what we've done here. We started with a simple message component that renders text. Because we know that we would have a changing list of messages, we added a state property for our main component and created a view that holds and renders the messages at the top of the screen. Each message animates its opacity, going from 0 to 1, then from 1 to 0, to fade out. This was done with animated.sequence to play two animations one after another. After it animated, we used the start callback to ask the main component to remove the message from the state list. I truly hope you found this helpful. For now, I'll leave you to decide what you want to see in the next episode of You Can Animate It. Just let me know down in the comments. It could be anything, really. Remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.